Ever mused about what happens when the might of AI collides with the enigma of quantum computing? Anyone who's interested in security is interested in the quantum computers. They can crack almost any code that is based on digital technology. Hold on to your space helmets, folks, because the U.S. government recently hit the panic button, prompting Google and NASA to slam the brakes on their quantum computing endeavors. I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Pioneers like Michio Kaku and Elon Musk had their alarm bells ringing for quite some time. Now, I've got to ask, are we on the brink of a quantum AI takeover? It has the potential of a civilizational destruction. Strap in as we voyage through quantum realms to reveal a mind-bending revelation that might just have your jaw meeting the floor. Chapter 1. What is quantum? When we talk about quantum computers, we're diving into a realm that fuses the boundaries of technology and quantum mechanics, leading to a paradigm shift in computational power. Unlike traditional computers, which operate using bits, representing either zero or one, quantum computers utilize qubits. These qubits are nothing short of miraculous. They hold information as both zero and one simultaneously thanks to a concept known as superposition. Let's break it down. Imagine you're at a buffet with a plate in your hand. In a classical world, you could either choose the pasta or the salad. But in the quantum world, you get to enjoy both on the same plate at the same time. That's the magic of superposition. Qubits, the fundamental elements of quantum computers, exist in multiple states at once, performing complex calculations parallelly, vastly outpacing our conventional computers. But wait, there's another trick up the sleeve of quantum computers, entanglement. This is a unique phenomenon where pairs of qubits become intertwined, and the state of one, whether it's zero or one, can depend on the state of another. Picture a set of twins feeling each other's emotions, even if they are continents apart. That's entanglement in a nutshell. What does all this mean? Quantum computers are not your typical machines. They are a dramatic departure from classical computers, operating in a way that can process vast amounts of information simultaneously thanks to the extraordinary properties of qubits. The roots of this quantum revolution trace back to the early 20th century, a period when quantum theory began reshaping our understanding of the universe. Scientists were realizing that the building blocks of our world, the atoms and subatomic particles, abide by a different set of rules, quantum mechanics. This new perspective on physics introduced concepts that defied classical understanding. In 1900, Max Planck dropped a bombshell on the scientific community with his quantized energy levels, proposing that energy comes in discrete packets, or quanta, instead of a continuous flow. Imagine energy like a set of Lego blocks rather than a ramp. You can only have whole blocks, not a smooth, continuous build. Following this, in 1925, Werner Heisenberg introduced the uncertainty principle, challenging the very foundation of what we could know about particles. He proposed that you can't know both the position and the momentum of a particle with absolute certainty. It's like trying to take a perfect Instagram photo while you're laughing. You can either have a perfect pose or a genuine expression, not both. In 1935, Albert Einstein, Boris Podolsky, and Nathan Rosen brought forward the EPR paradox a thought experiment that added another layer of mystery to the quantum world. They talked about spooky action at a distance, where entangled particles seem to communicate instantaneously, regardless of distance. It's as if they had an invisible, unbreakable bond. Fast forward to 1980, and the revolutionary concept of quantum computing emerged, bringing us to the cusp of a new era. Quantum computers, with their ability to perform calculations at unprecedented speeds, are set to redefine what we thought was possible. What makes these machines so fascinating is their ability to handle and process information in a way that's fundamentally different from traditional computers. They take advantage of the quirky, unpredictable nature of quantum mechanics to perform tasks at a speed and efficiency that classical computers can only dream of. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of quantum computers, 
It's clear that we are on the brink of something monumental. The potential applications of these machines are vast and varied, from simulating complex biological processes to optimizing large systems and even cracking codes that were once deemed unbreakable. In essence, quantum computers are not just another step in the evolution of computing. They represent a leap into a new dimension of computational capability. They operate in a world of probabilities and superpositions, where the rules of classical physics are bent and stretched to their limits. Chapter 2. History of Quantum Computers Delving into the remarkable journey of quantum computers, we embark on a thrilling adventure, tracing back to the early 1980s. It was a time of visionary ideas and groundbreaking concepts, particularly from physicist Paul Benioff, who saw beyond the realms of traditional computing. He dared to imagine a world powered by the enigmatic laws of quantum mechanics, laying the foundation for a new era in computational capabilities. Imagine, for a moment, a computer so powerful and efficient that it makes our current technology seem like relics of the past. That was the dream Benioff had, a dream that soon caught the attention of another brilliant mind, physicist Richard Feynman. In 1982, Feynman took the baton and ran with it, expanding on Benioff's visionary ideas. He was captivated by the untapped potential of quantum computers, foreseeing their ability to unravel problems that would leave classical computers utterly perplexed. As we journey through the timeline, we witness the birth of a new scientific field, with curiosity and excitement propelling research and exploration. The quantum realm was no longer just a topic of theoretical debate. It became a playground for innovators and dreamers. The 1990s marked a pivotal moment in this journey, with mathematician Peter Shor unveiling a groundbreaking algorithm in 1994. This algorithm was a game-changer, demonstrating the staggering speed at which quantum computers could solve complex problems, leaving classical computers in the dust. Fast forward to 1998, and the world got its first practical glimpse of a quantum computer. A team of researchers at Los Alamos National Laboratory unveiled a two-qubit quantum computer utilizing nuclear magnetic resonance techniques. Though it had its limitations, this prototype was a beacon of progress, signaling the potential for quantum computing to revolutionize the technological landscape. The early 2000s were marked by rapid advancement and fervent experimentation. Companies and research groups globally were in a race to develop more advanced quantum computers. Among them, IBM stood out, presenting the IBM Qubit, a 7-qubit quantum computer in 2001. This was a significant milestone, capturing the imagination of both the scientific community and tech enthusiasts alike. Parallelly, the quantum community was grappling with one of the most daunting challenges in quantum computing, error correction. The fragile nature of quantum information necessitated the development of protective codes. Enter the surface code a revolutionary quantum error correction code designed to shield qubits from environmental interference, thereby enhancing the reliability of quantum computers. By 2005, the University of Innsbruck and the National Institute of Standards and Technology had made significant strides constructing a functional five-qubit quantum computer. While five qubits may seem modest, it was a testament to the tangible progress being made in the field, edging ever closer to practical quantum computing. The journey took another exciting turn in 2007, when researchers at Yale University discovered stable qubits using solid-state systems. This was akin to finding the holy grail of quantum stability, making quantum computers more accessible and manageable. The dream of practical quantum computing was slowly becoming a reality. And then came 2010, a year that seemed to leap straight out of a science fiction novel. The University of Science and Technology of China achieved quantum teleportation, transferring quantum information over a distance of 10 miles. This incredible feat show cossed the potential for quantum networks, where quantum information could traverse a vast distances, unlocking new possibilities and applications. As we reflect on this remarkable journey, we can't help but marvel at the progress made in the realm of quantum computing. 
From visionary ideas to practical prototypes, from tackling complex calculations to achieving quantum teleportation, the journey of quantum computers has been nothing short of extraordinary. Chapter 3. What Google and NASA Did in the fascinating world of quantum computing, the journey of the D-Wave 2, a pioneering quantum computer developed through the collaboration of Google and NASA, stands out as a compelling tale of innovation, challenges, and resilience. Picture this. The year is 2013, and these two tech giants unite with a vision to push the boundaries of computational power. Yet, as their project gains momentum, an unforeseen government shutdown throws a wrench in the works, bringing their quantum endeavors to a sudden halt. Now, you might be wondering, why not just turn the quantum computer off and back on again when things settle down? Well, it's not that simple. Quantum computers are intricate machines. Restarting them is not only costly, but also an incredibly time-consuming process. Google found itself at a crossroads, tangled in uncertainty, especially with their investment in the Ames Quantum Artificial Intelligence Lab, which provided access to the D-Wave 2. With the lab temporarily out of operation, their roadmap to quantum exploration seemed to blur. Imagine the frustration and the sense of limbo. But as they say, when one door closes, another opens. Once the government resumed operations, the D-Wave 2 and the dream of delving deeper into the quantum realm were back on track, ready to rebound stronger than ever. Fast forward to 2019 and Google is back in the spotlight, this time claiming quantum supremacy. This was a game changer, demonstrating the D-Wave 2's ability to perform certain tasks at speeds unattainable by classical computers. This milestone wasn't just a win for Google, it served as a catalyst igniting a spark in the tech community and prompting giants like IBM and Microsoft to amplify their efforts in quantum computing. The race was on to develop more advanced and reliable quantum systems. In the heat of this quantum revolution, 2020, marked another pivotal moment. IBM unveiled the Quantum System 1, making history as the first fully integrated quantum computer designed for commercial use. This was a giant leap toward making quantum computing more practical and accessible, capturing the attention and investments of governments and industries worldwide. But the intrigue of quantum computing extends beyond our planet. Some believe that intelligent life elsewhere in the universe might be using black holes as supercomputers. It brings to mind the Fermi Paradox, pondering why, in this vast universe teeming with potential for life, we haven't found concrete evidence of extraterrestrial existence. It's like searching for a needle in a cosmic haystack. The Hart-Tipler conjecture once attempted to explain this paradox, suggesting that signs of advanced alien activity should be observable. However, a group of forward-thinking physicists from Germany and Georgia are now proposing a new theory. They suggest that these advanced civilizations might be utilizing black holes for quantum computing. Since the 1960s, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence has been scanning the cosmos for radio signals, a familiar and understandable method for U.S. humans. Yet, these physicists propose broadening our search, including looking for signs of advanced technologies, such as quantum communications, gravitational waves, and even directed energy neutrinos. The study by Jad Valley and Zaza Osmanov delves into the possibility of large-scale quantum computing as a method for detecting advanced alien civilizations. Quantum computing, renowned for its speedy information processing and robust security, emerges as an enticing option for civilizations far more advanced than ours. These hypothetical beings might be using black holes, governed by the intricate dance of quantum physics and gravity, as perfect environments for their quantum computations. So, as we delve deeper into the intricacies of quantum computing, we not only unlock new potentials and possibilities for our own technological advancement, but also open the doors to understanding and connecting with civilizations beyond our own. 
the journey of the D-Wave 2, from its challenging times during the government shutdown to its triumphant role in demonstrating quantum supremacy, serves as a testament to the resilience and boundless potential of quantum computing. Chapter 4. Real Danger of Quantum Computers Navigating through the intricate landscape of quantum computing, we find ourselves at a crossroads between unprecedented innovation and the potential for misuse. It's like opening Pandora's box. Inside lies a wealth of tools that could uplift society, yet we must tread carefully to avoid unleashing chaos. Consider the realm of AI development, which has surged forward, gifting us with sophisticated tools such as AI image generators and chatbots. These marvels of technology hold immense potential, but there's a darker side to this high-tech utopia. Deep fakes, a byproduct of our advancements, have the power to distort reality, spreading fabricated political content with alarming speed and realism. As we delve deeper, we uncover how these deep fakes could be weaponized sowing discord and confusion in international affairs. Law enforcement armed with AI tools isn't immune to these challenges, with the potential for over-policing and biased decisions disproportionately affecting marginalized communities. But what fuels these disparities? The answer lies in the inherent bias embedded within AI models perpetuating and deepening social inequalities. Even AI language models designed to understand and generate human-like text are not exempt from this issue, with the potential to propagate misinformation. In the financial world, AI trading bots pose another challenge, with the power to destabilize stock markets and impact economies. It's a tangled web of innovation and risk, and finding the balance is paramount. Fear not for there is a beacon of hope on the horizon. Scientists from every corner of the globe are tirelessly working to develop the ultimate quantum computer. It's a Herculean task, one that may span years, if not a decade, but the potential rewards are immeasurable. Chapter 5. Future of Quantum Computers In the intricate dance of quantum computing, two main strategies are taking the stage, each with its own unique rhythm and challenges. On one side, we have gate-based quantum computing a delicate ballet of manipulating individual qubits to perform complex calculations. Here, the quest is on to create qubits that are not just stable, but robust, with contenders like superconducting circuits and trapped ions stepping up to the plate. The goal? To minimize errors and maximize potential, a high-stakes balancing act that requires precision and innovation. As we turn our gaze, we find adiabatic quantum computing, a different kind of performance, gradually evolving quantum systems to untangle the most complex of problems through quantum annealing. Imagine scientists as conductors, experimenting with a symphony of materials and specialized devices, all in pursuit of enhancing performance and scalability. But let's not forget, this is a delicate symphony, one that demands perfection. Yet quantum computers, much like performers under the spotlight, are sensitive and prone to error. Maintaining quantum coherence becomes the backstage crew, working tirelessly to ensure the show goes on without a hitch, even if it means operating in super-low temperatures and highly controlled environments. Error correction takes on the role of the unsung hero, tirelessly working to ensure every quantum note hits the right pitch, preserving the integrity of the results. In this relentless pursuit of perfection, collaboration becomes key. Governments, academic institutions, and private enterprises are joining forces, investing time, resources, and expertise. Enter the giants of the quantum realm, IBM Quantum, Google Quantum AI, and Microsoft Quantum. These are the maestros, providing access to state-of-the-art quantum hardware, software, and invaluable educational resources. Together, they are laying down the tracks for the quantum journey ahead, ensuring that we are all ready for the next quantum leap. In this ever-evolving world of quantum computing, the journey is as complex as the computations themselves, filled with challenges and breakthroughs, setbacks and successes. But as we navigate through this quantum labyrinth, one thing is clear. The future of quantum computing is not just a possibility. 
It's a performance, and the show has only just begun. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment to share your thoughts.